Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in the series of network functions. In this tutorial, we'll talk about necessary conditions for driving point functions and transfer functions. Now the necessary conditions for driving point functions and transfer functions are important to know because at times you may be you may be given a function and you may be asked to uh, you may be asked to find whether this function is suitable as a driving point function or not so that is one kind of a question that that could come in multiple choice questions or in small answer type questions where you may be asked to check if a function is suitable as a driving point function or not or as a transfer function or not so I'll, I'll enlist those points for both these types of functions for driving point functions the first necessary condition is that the coefficient in a polynomial ms and ns must be real and positive now what is ms and ns uh, if you've been watching the series of the videos uh, you, we know that the the function hs is composed of a numerator term which is ms and a denominator term which is ns so the polynomial ms which features in the numerator and the denominator polynomial ns they must be real and positive positive. and secondly complex and imaginary poles poles and zeros they must occur in conjugate form so when you go on to find poles and zeros and if any of the poles and zeros are complex then they must exist in conjugate form then the third important point is both polynomials ms and ns they must not have any missing terms between highest and lowest degree unless all or all odd or even terms are missing so i'll write down this point missing terms between highest and lowest degree unless all odd or even terms are missing so this is very important point the fourth point is real part of all poles and zeros must be negative and not positive so if you have a, a pole or a zero which is complex its real part should be uh, negative and it should not be positive uh, and if the real part is zero then pole or, or zero must be simple it should not be complex so i could write this point as poles and zeros must have real part as negative and lastly ms and ns must differ at most by one in the highest degree or lowest degree so 
so the degree of polynomial should not differ by more than one in in its highest or lowest uh, degree now we'll talk about the necessary conditions for transfer function the first necessary condition remains same the coefficient of polynomial ms and ns must be real and they must be positive for ns you could you could have a negative coefficient in, in ms but not in positive so it must be real and positive for ns and real for ms this is the slight difference otherwise it is similar to the one discussed in driving point function and second is also complex poles and zeros they must be conjugate third is the real part of poles must be negative if it is a zero then it must be a simple pole so i can write this point as real part of poles only please understand this point must be negative and if if it is a zero it must be a simple pole and fourth point is polynomial ns must not have any missing term between highest and lowest degree unless uh, all the odd and even terms are missing so you transfer this point here for ns only and the fifth point is polynomial ms may have missing terms between highest and lowest degree and some coefficient may be negative so this point is different from uh, so this could be the star point of difference between driving point functions and transfer functions ms may have missing terms and negative coefficients all right and degree of ms may be as small as 0 independent of degree of m ns uh, the degree of ms may be 0 and independent of ns and lastly uh, it specifically talks about a point for g21 and alpha21 yeah, ms and ns must have same highest degree so this is voltage transfer ratio this is current transfer ratio uh, they have ms degree should be equivalent to ns degree and for z21 and y21 highest degree of ms is greater than ns by unity and so this is a point ms has a greater degree than ns by unity and finally a sample question that i like to discuss here is we have been given a transfer function f of s which is 7s square plus 1 upon 4s square plus s plus 2 now we need to see if this uh, function is suitable for a driving point function or not we need to check the conditions for driving point function now i've made this question a little simpler because of the time constraint so for driving point functions the conditions are less stringent so the first thing that we notice here is that the degree of numerator and denominator is equal so degree of 
ms and ns is equal and next we see that all the odd terms are missing here in the numerator so we've got square s raised to power 0 present so all terms are missing so which satisfies this condition uh, the denominator does not have any missing terms from going from its highest degree to the lowest degree and the negative coefficients are not present there are no negative coefficients present do not exist so we can say this this is suitable for a driving point function and similarly you could get questions where you simply need to check these conditions to see if it is suitable for a transfer function or not i'll try to take up more examples for the same uh, in the coming tutorials and i hope you liked the content of the video if you did give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you around in the next one take care bye bye